ISIS attack on India stopped by Russia. A self-proclaimed member of the Islamic State has been arrested in Russia for planning a terrorist attack in India. The Russian Federal Security Service released information regarding the would-be attacker's plan to kill a leader of India's ruling government in a suicide bombing. The attack was planned as retaliation for the quote-unquote insults at the Prophet Muhammad by the now former BJP spokesperson Nupur Sharma. In a statement released by Russian state-run media, quote, Russia's FSB identified and detained a member of the Islamic State International Terrorist Organization banned in Russia, a native of a country in a Central Asian region, who planned to commit a terrorist attack by blowing himself up against one of the representatives of the ruling circles in India. It is claimed that it was a conspiracy to kill a high-ranking member of uh, the Bharatiya Janata Party. I know I can't say that right, or the BJP for short. Russia's investigation agency has also added that to execute the terror plan, the accused has been had been trained in Istanbul, Turkey by ISIS recruiters. In the video, the accused, identified as Asimov, stated, quote, In India, I was to be met and given all the necessary things to commit an act of terrorism at the behest of the Islamic State for insulting the Prophet Muhammad. A probe was started by the Indian officials investigating the case as they await formal evidence from Russia. Um, so I saw this news and I was like, what? We need to talk about this. First of all, I think it should be acknowledged that this was released by Russian state-run media. So to be frank, uh, I, 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 we have no I idea there. automatically <laughs> have severe skepticism. Yeah. I don't know. Armin, do you think it's unfair to be skeptical of no. this news story simply because it was published by Russia. Okay, you're not denying it. You're being skeptical of it. Of course you have to be. Coming from Russia, you have to be. the. First of all, we have to be skeptical about news in general, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but that, that level of skepticism has to, like, be dialed up by a, a hundred, couple of hundred points when it's Russia. Of course Russia, like Russia... Russia's media, when it's especially if it's about Russia, is not to be trusted. And again, I don't know why people don't understand not trusting something doesn't mean you're denying that it's true. Okay. When you don't trust something, it means you're withholding beliefs. That doesn't mean you're claiming the opposite. You're not claiming that this has not happened. It might have happened, but you don't know. But if it did happen, thank you, Russia. I haven't had, um, thank you, uh, Russian officials or government officials. Okay. We haven't said that for a while, right? This has been, but if it's a genuine news, this is a good, this is good, good. Like Russia's government does something good. Like we, we can't be like uh, biased about that here. Um, Satya has a lot of interesting points in the comments. By the way, ISIS was being trained in Turkey. Like in Turkey, like that's where, that's where, that's where they're training ISIS these days allegedly allegedly but if it's true allegedly. i wouldn't i am mean, i mean if it's true it's amazing i mean Tur turkey is not a place that i mean i would think if anywhere isis was being trained anywhere it would be like in syria or in somewhere in africa or in somalia or maybe even in iraq afghanistan yeah afghanistan for sure but in turkey like why would you do that there like that's i don't know um but satya has some interesting points i wanted to highlight those let me see if i want to highlight all of it um okay here let's highlight this one first no satya no no this says one. How this, does, no no this no. one this one this one this one satya says thank god he failed a muslim killing the top brass would have burned the whole of india yeah imagine the reaction to that oh if that god. was successful if that was successful like this is like peak genocide you know the tensions in india like are set for like mass civil war between indians and muslims i think maybe we're exaggerating i don't know okay so this I, would I be yeah. this would be the match that would set it off especially if like i don't know like what which top official which who, who are they targeting do we know it's not exactly clear presumably it is someone from the bjp given the fact that these you know quote unquote insults against the prophet muhammad were by a bjp spokesperson 
Nupur Sharma. For those who are not aware, there was a woman who used to represent the ruling party of India, and she basically kicked off a diplomatic crisis for India because she said supposedly derogatory comments against the Prophet Muhammad. Now, the, the problem with her supposedly derogatory comments against the Prophet Muhammad is that there are facts that are accepted by all the major schools of thought. Me, AKA that he married and um, had sexual relationships with a child being primary among the things that she said about him. And this is accepted as true. Um, so this is my problem with news media constantly saying that it was insult, that it was derogatory, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's not insulting and derogatory when the top sheikhs in Saudi Arabia and from Al-Azhar like validate what she says. I think it's ridiculous. Yeah. So, you know, there's that background context, um, which is important to consider. And when that originally happened a few months ago, when these statements from Nupar Sharma first happened a few months ago, ISIS said that they were going to do stuff like this. And here we go. According to the reports that I've read, there we don't know where this man came from, but it is likely, it is alleged that he came from Uzbekistan and that it's not clear exactly how he planned to get into India. Like maybe he had a direct visa. Maybe he was going to get a visa from one place and then a it's visa not hard to get place. into India. Yeah, that's also true. Um, but in any case, he was somehow intervened, you know, by Russian intelligence. And they put out a video with him speaking in like broken Russian about what his plans were, all this kind of thing. Didn't the people who bombed the hotel in Mumbai just literally just got on a boat from Pakistan and just like just came off the water? I don't know just... exactly how Leshkari Taiba got into India to conduct that it's horrific easy. attack. It seemed like but it was they easy. did it with the support, direct support of Pakistan's intelligence agency. So it was a state sponsored terrorist attack. Yeah. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll never get okay. over that, by the way. Um, yeah, nobody Satya, got yeah, Satya says, how does he think this would have helped the Muslims? This would have made their lives hell. See, Armin, take it away. I already know what you're going to oh, say. Oh, my sweet, sweet summer child, Satya. <laughs> you really think this is about helping Muslims? They, they want Muslims to suffer. Like, how do you guys not know this? That ISIS and Al Qaeda, they want Muslims to suffer. That's how they recruit. You think they want their lives better? You, especially this life, it's about Akhirat. It's not about Dunya. They want Muslims to have miserable lives. Okay, the less they're attached to this world, the more chances they're gonna have to be joining radical groups. Especially, I mean, they don't even think that's immoral. This this world is not something that you should be attached to, anyways. It's all about the next one. <laughs> okay, so yeah but yeah you're completely um, right yeah. and yeah i know this is something that they openly admit like they know that they want other regimes like this is why isis or al-qaeda they like hinduism or they like white supremacists okay they want muslims to be oppressed okay because they want to convince them like you belong to us these people uh you don't you're not one of them stop pretending like you're one of them come fully be on our side okay so there's that mm -hmm. oh somebody you highlighted this one so you want to oh yeah this? derek is saying i didn't even know this show existed until right now i love armin's book i've had it for a long time well thank you ah. for your praises of armin's book by the way and we do this show every week you can watch us on youtube or twitch or facebook so come again another time it's good to see you derek um we do yeah, lots of things you. on atheist republic um and this is just one of them so um one thing i also wanted to say is this is our first segment of this show and we already said about a dozen different spicy words that youtube and facebook hate in their algorithm so please give us a like because it'll help show this video to more people it's important to talk about but it's controversial so we get punished for it um so please take a few seconds to give us that like um do you have anything else you wanted to add to this news armin um Okay, oh, Shriya, she's saying that I expect it to be somebody high profile like Amit Shah, like the one, the person that they were trying to target. Again, I think if they did highlight, if they didn't, were successful in getting somebody high in 
um, you know, higher up in BGP, the the reaction to that would have been intense. Like I don't know, this would be hell for both Hindus and Muslims in India. It would I, I don't know. Maybe I'm again I don't know how much I'm exaggerating here, but I can't imagine it would be good. Um, let me see what Oxymoron is saying. Very likely the kill count easily past number of killing done by uh, Gandhians after killing Gandhi. Oh, okay, Susie's here. So, did the Gandhians started killing people after Gandhi? Is that something that happened? I don't know that. So, Oxymoron is expecting some similar reaction. I don't trust anything Oxymoron says, so. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Oh, no! <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. It's a full disregard. <laughs> Okay, D, I want to highlight this. I know it's not better news. D is saying I should pass off my wrench. I am at work now during the stream. No, no. by the way, the wrench. No, you don't pass off your wrench. Wrench really means like you're be, being a mod in the live chat. Um, D, we're going to have Q&As. And I'm going to have Q&As at the other hour that we used to have before. So there's that. So we're just, Even we're just if have... D can never attend one of our live streams again, she will always have the moderator wrench because she freaking earned it, okay? Chief deserves it. It's a badge of honor, and I will never take that away from you, D. Um, Look what she did to Z. <laughs> Look what she did. Oxymoron is saying, I am so hurt. Oh. Oxymoron, can you blame me after the discussion that was had in that Q&A? Okay, but his information is correct. Look, Setia is confirming it. Yes, the people from the assassin I, This is from killed. the other person that is Hindutva in our live chat. <laughs> hey, not all Hindutva are. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like well, Armin, <laughs> you're confirming one Hindutva with another Hindutva. Okay. <laughs> no, but I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure what they're saying is. Um, well, I'm not sure actually, but it's very likely true. Okay. Um... <laughs> Is his face. <laughs> That's all it takes for oh, it to be okay. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. We have we not all Hindus, well, okay? <laughs> Guys, Susanna has bad experience with Hindus. Well. It's Look, not even really? bad. Okay, I don't want to get into it right now because oh. it's going to seem like it's personal. Mm. I don't know. Okay. 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 Can we clap for the next news? Oh my god, look at what you started off. I, now there's stuff I want to address, but we can't. <sighs> Fuck, now I'm getting pissed off. Um, so... <laughs> Alright, guys, lay off Susie. Lay off Susie in the lights. It's not even, not, it's not even like, okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind! Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you want to move on, or do you want to address it? Your choice. She's thinking. Just give me a second. <laughs> I've had a really hard day today, so my ability to deal with nonsense is like at a zero. And so I'm like <laughs> mentally trying to force myself to not engage, even though I really want to, and I feel like I should address some things. But I can't also because Armin has a hard stop today. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, let's have. How about this? We'll we'll do a rant session, and uh, on the, before the next um, news. Okay. You want to do a rant session before the next news segment? Because D is like D is like address it, address it. We'll do a rant next time, next week. Prepare a rant. Yeah, I can't. I just can't right now. I'm. I can't. Okay. We will have a Susie rant segment on next week's show. Okay. All right. Can we clap for the next news? Oh no, I have to say this. Okay, I, I just have to say this. Oxymoron oh, saying, okay. "Oh, that was semantics, Susie. You gotta separate emotions in a debate. This is not a matter of separating emotions in a debate, Oxymoron. What you were advocating for, what you were proposing, was legitimately horrific. 
okay? And it's not a matter of me just being some emotional woman and I can't handle it. Oh my God, I don't know how to separate emotions. What you were proposing to anyone and everyone who was listening was so barbaric. And it is not a matter of, oh, I'm just talking about things in theoretics, blah, blah, blah. Like, I understand that that's what you were trying to say, but that is not what was communicated. You tried to backtrack, but you were justifying rape as a weapon of war. And not as something that it like happens in abstract hundreds of years ago. This is something that happens today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're just. This is not a matter of like, oh, you're getting emotional, blah, blah, blah. That's so condescending. You were just legitimately so terrible at expressing what you were trying to say that it came across as just saying that this is fine. To everyone who was there, they were like, what the fuck is happening? Okay, yeah, this yeah. is not a matter of emotions. You were le legitimately so bad at yeah. putting forth your position that everyone was like also shocked to their core. I have never heard anyone in my life express these opinions like to my face. It was crazy. Yeah, and you were you were just oxymoron you weren't you weren't being this rational realist okay because you weren't just saying that this happens as if uh, we were denying it okay you were like you were trying to act like you were more rational by saying i'm dealing with reality nobody was denying that that's, that doesn't happen you were the one who was exactly. justifying it you were the one who was not just accepting that it happens but going one further one step further and justifying it okay and saying literally saying to everybody that it's okay um and also you're hiding behind this separate emotions in a debate if we separate emotions from a debate you look terrible because objectively what you were advocating it this increases misery and harm and reduces people's well-being okay but you are you're being a coward but instead of having a way to defend what you were saying you were acting like other people being emotional okay but even even if you express emotion that doesn't mean that you're not analyzing what's happening here independent of the emotions you you can analyze the conclusions of what you're talking about independently from emotion and then be emotional about the conclusion the about you how could you not be you're advocating for the most horrible crimes right so how could somebody not be about emotional about that but without the emotions from a utilitarian um, perspective even like completely robotic calculations everything you were advocating and reduces it increases harm in, in the world so don't act like oh, like oh, other people are just not being able to uh, think about this without emotion. Because I can, and my verdict is that your everything that you stand for is horrific and and bad. Yes, exactly. And, so after yeah. someone comes and openly expresses that, I think I'm justified in throwing away everything they ever have to say. I'm gonna be honest, and it's not simply yeah. because. The, hearing something like that makes me emotional. Of course it does, but I can easily separate that out. And when I do separate out my emotions, what stands underneath that is still one of the worst things I've ever heard. The worst reasoning I've ever heard. The worst way of articulating it I've ever heard. Okay. So I think even, am I wrong I, in saying I am gonna I'm going to be I'm not gonna trust what this person has to say when this is and look, oh, there's such there's such a long history there's other stuff too but I can't get into that either. Okay, so even Hendutva disagrees with you. By the way, uh, Satya is like, but what <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Satya is like, why am I being grouped together? I was against it too. So Satya is like, it's unfair. Yes, yeah, Satya, I will acknowledge that you were firmly against what oxymoron was saying you basically said we don't claim him um which i appreciated <laughs> but um yeah i have to say your analysis of the cashmere files was shocking the lack of awareness was shocking and so that also makes me call into question um your analysis of things i'm gonna be honest like the way okay. in which like the bigotry of Muslims is so normalized to you and you just accept it. And what you were expressing about that film was you like you, there was no self-awareness. It was crazy. Okay. okay so yeah, I'm going to be a bit skeptical. I think that's fair. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm skeptical is fine, but I do want. I personally advocate for just taking, even if somebody has a bad like opinion about something else, I try to evaluate each of their claims independently because sometimes I get surprised. Somebody who had a bad take about something, all of a sudden they have a really good take about something else. So, I mean, I know it's not that easy, but. So I know, but I'm just takes. saying I think we are being irresponsible by highlighting certain claims by people that we know are repeatedly misrepresentative or... Wait, the misrepresentation, even if it's a misrepresentation, the misrepresentation is out there. You know what I mean? So you want to see what other people are saying about it. We, and we will claim that we don't know if it's true or not. It could be correct. It could be a misrepresentation. But one thing we know is that what the things that our people are saying in our live chat is part of the conversations that are happening out there. So it's worth people noticing what conversations people are having about the news. Even if it's incorrect one, at least people know that this is what other people, like other people's opinions, even the wrong ones, is part of the news. The fact that those wrong opinions might be spreading. Do you know what I mean? I do. I mean, I have some contentions, but we this is a larger discussion that we can't get into, unfortunately. Okay. All right. God, so now um, that I got that off my chest. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I think you did well. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> All right. By the way, you can see where... Um, no, I, I should say this. I think part of the reason, the motivation behind all of this is because Hendutva is up to so many evil things these days that you have to come up with a way to justify it. Anyways, that might, that's a theory I have. I don't know if it's true. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 